Hi everyone, my name is John Mile. I'm the lead product marketing manager for Microsoft Viva Learning and with me is Shivam. Hello everyone, I'm Shivam Garg, group product manager for Microsoft Viva Learning. I am excited to be here with John and talk about the product. So we have an action-packed agenda for you today. We'll start with a quick product overview. We'll discuss our own internal rollout of Viva Learning here at Microsoft. We'll take a look at a set of new exciting feature announcements, including a live product demo from Shivam. From there, we'll discuss our newly enhanced integration with SAP SuccessFactors with Nate Herdo, Vice President, Global Solution Go-To-Market for SuccessFactors. And finally, Shivam will walk us through a roadmap review and we'll close with some ways to get deeply engaged with Viva Learning. So let's get started. We have a lot of exciting announcements, as we mentioned, and demos to show you. But before we get to that, let's zoom out for a minute and talk about Viva Learning conceptually. As with all components of Microsoft Viva, our employee experience platform, one of our guiding principles is to keep the user at the center. That means bringing experiences to them, meeting them where they already are in the tools that they use during the workday. And from a learning perspective, it also means answering the hard questions like, how do we make learning a natural part of your day? And how can we facilitate a learning culture that everyone contributes to? The answers take us to the first of the three pillars that you see on the screen and really summarize why we built Viva Learning. The first is about bringing learning into the flow of work. This means seamlessly connecting into the day-to-day -day of our 270 million monthly active users and teams and also across Microsoft 365. You can search and discover learning content, share learnings and trainings in chat, and pin curated resource collections to Teams channels and dedicated tabs, and so much more, and a lot of new exciting features that we'll show you in the demo. The second is around simplifying learning. This is about making all of your learning available in one place. We want to reduce bouncing between different point solution apps so people can stay focused during their workday. And this means bringing content and assignments from your learning management system, from different third party content providers your organization subscribes to, and your own custom built content all in one place. And lastly, we need to make the learning experience really personalized and relevant by providing learning experiences categorized by individual learning interests with social learning capabilities built natively into Teams and Microsoft 365 with recommendations to accelerate your learning journey. All of this, of course, is built upon our Microsoft Graph data layer with rich user signals that enable us to create an intelligent system that serves up the right content at the right time. The next layer up is the aggregation layer. This is where Viva Learning brings together the different learning systems your organization has access to. You can see all the logos on screen where we have active integrations, and I'm excited to share that KPMG, Udacity, SumTotal, and LMS365 are our latest additions to the Viva Learning Partner Network. We also recently announced our first set of public APIs so any learning system can connect into Viva Learning. In fact, our new partners that I just mentioned are utilizing those same publicly available APIs to build their connectors. Check the resources listed at the end of this session for details to get started with APIs and everything else. And finally, the top layer here is the platform layer, which is where the user actually experiences Viva Learning. This is primarily in Teams, but we're also bringing learning to wherever your users are across the Microsoft 365 stack, from SharePoint to Microsoft Search and Bing, Office.com, Outlook, or even other Viva modules. So now let's take a look at the power of Viva Learning in a fully deployed enterprise environment and really what better example than ourselves here at Microsoft. We rolled out Viva Learning earlier this year, including a connection with our LMS, which is SAP SuccessFactors, so users can easily access the content available to them, which for us at Microsoft is over 100,000 courses, so they can see their assigned training seamlessly within Teams and Microsoft 365. Since rollout, we've seen a strong uptick in usage and most recent monthly active usage from August show 169,000 active users. That's almost 80% of Microsoft employees regularly using Viva Learning. In addition, we're seeing strong usage of the Viva Learning mobile app with over 40,000 employees using the app for learning activities just in August. But my favorite statistic here points to the influence Viva Learning is having on creating a culture of learning here at Microsoft. Since rollout of Viva Learning, we've seen a huge increase in a metric we call engaged quality learners, which looks at individuals who have consumed two or more elective courses in a given month. So this doesn't count any required or mandatory content. 
And we've seen a 58% increase in this number, which was already pretty high to begin with. Now, we didn't introduce any new content. We simply reduced the barriers for our, our employees to find relevant learning courses, consume them, and participate in social learning activities with Viva Learning. So I'm personally pretty proud of that statistic, and it's a testament, I think, to the power of bringing learning into the flow of work and how that simplified learning experience really does drive higher engagement, and particularly with elective learning content, so people can choose to learn about the things that they're interested in, and they'll help them achieve their personal and professional goals. Now, I'll finish this portion with a quote from Laura Landau, one of our senior team members who helped roll out Viva Learning at Microsoft, and I'll just read this off because I love the quote. It's really exciting to have the learning environment as part of Teams instead of as a separate website that people rarely visit. Viva Learning is helping to change learning from a last minute sprint to complete an assignment the night before it's due to something that's part of the average workday. And with that, let's take a look at some of the new features that we're announcing today. As promised, a bunch of exciting features on the slide here. I'll go through these quickly and then I'll hand off to Shifam to actually demo and show you what these look like. Now, please note as we're going through these, some of these features are available to you now and some are coming soon. The ones that you see on screen tagged as GA, as in generally available, are available now. The ones you see tagged as preview are coming soon and we anticipate that they'll be ready by the end of this calendar year. So first off, starting in the upper left, we're excited to announce learning paths are coming to Viva Learning. This has been a top ask and so we're excited to deliver it. This is the capability for admins, knowledge managers, and learning program managers to create sequenced chains of learning objects directly within Viva Learning, utilizing all of the different content sources that you have connected within your tenant. You can then publish these learning paths to the users within your organization who can discover, consume, share, and recommend them as you would a, a normal learning object within Viva Learning. Next, we have learning collections. This is the ability for individual users to create their own set of grouped learning objects. They can then keep this as a personal collection to facilitate their own learning journey, or they can choose to share it with others in the organization. Moving down to admin capabilities, we've enhanced the admin tab within the Viva Learning app for Teams to include a number of new features. So the ability to configure content sources now directly within the admin tab within Viva Learning app for Teams, also, the ability to create and publish featured content set. This was already in the admin tab, but we're continuing to keep it there. We're also newly adding the ability to build learning paths and also configure user permissions for learning objects so people can only see the content that they have access to consume. And Siobhan will walk us through all of this in just a minute. Next, we have a set of mobile app updates, including in-app consumption for all content viewed on the mobile app improvements to the search and filter experience, and a new homepage interface, which will be coming soon. We're also pleased to announce a set of new integrations, both with partners and with other Viva applications. As mentioned before, Viva Learning now integrates with Udacity, LMS 365, SumTotal, and KPMG through our publicly available APIs. And on top of that, we've deepened our existing integration with SAP SuccessFactors. On top of the course catalog sync, assignment syncing, and completion record syncing, which was already available, we're announcing today that we've added on top of that single sign-on, in-app playback for SuccessFactors hosted content, permissions inheritance from SuccessFactors, and learning path import from SuccessFactors. And finally, we're strengthening the Viva Employee Experience Suite with integrations with Viva Connections. So you can now see your learning assignments in the Viva Connections home view and with Viva Insights. Soon you'll be able to see your learning assignments as part of the Viva daily briefing email and also add learning content directly to your calendar. So that was a lot of good stuff. I'm sure you're anxious to see it. So let me hand off to Shivam now to show you what it actually looks like in action. Sure, John, let me show you some new capabilities in Viva Learning. Contoso has deployed Viva Learning to bring learning in the flow of work. Contoso has made Viva Learning one-stop shop for all learning needs. Andy, a sales executive in Contoso, started using it for mandatory trainings pushed from his organization, but now using it for his personal growth and upskilling. To improve people management skills, he aspires to complete multiple courses related to people management. To help learners like Andy meet their goals, we have introduced the Collections feature. Collections help learners to curate multiple courses into a group and then share and recommend like any other learning course. Let's see how Andy creates a collection. 
he can go to the running correction section within my running tab he can add the title description as well as the thumbnail for his correction he can now start correcting his courses by clicking on add content he can add these sections by adding section title description and he can also find the relevant courses section title and description are optional fields and he is able to create a learning collection that comprises of different courses across all of the different learning content providers configured within his tenant including the learning management systems the third party content providers and his company's own custom content hosted on sharepoint he can also reorder the content and once it's done he can add all these courses there he has his collection created for him he can now start consuming and he can always find his curated collections in the collection section under the my learning tab as you can see andy has also created another collection on sales onboarding he wants to use his collection to help new hires in his sales organization to ramp up easily he can quickly share or recommend this curated collection with new hires he decides to recommend this collection to aaron who is a new member of the sales operations team to help accelerate his onboarding so with this collections help learners with their personal growth providing a better tool for self directed learning this powerful feature is also useful in knowledge sharing truly democratizing learning within an enterprise one more powerful feature that we added is learning path enabling knowledge managers and learning program managers to curate learning paths which allows learners to build knowledge progressively with viva learning now you can easily curate a path of sequence learning objects from various providers let me show you a sneak peek megan the knowledge manager visits the admin tab where she can now complete a variety of learning admin tasks she can manage the learning con content providers connected to her tenants viva learning instance manage user access and viewing permissions for specific learning content create featured content sets and create learning paths megan navigates to the learning path section here she can create new learning paths from existing courses from multiple learning providers she clicks on create and adds the title description and thumbnail for her learning path megan wants to create the learning path on diversity inclusion and belonging she starts adding the content within this learning path by clicking on add content she can add section title description and find the relevant courses section title and description are optional she can reorder the content before adding it she can add another section by clicking on add section so now she is adding another section called managing unconscious bias she can save the learning path in the draft section she can publish this learning path to make it available to all the organization employees for discovery and consumption as you can see learning paths are powerful curation tools of well defined step by step learning for employee upskilling and other organizational needs to promote culture of learning now let's see how employees discover and consume this learning path they can now find it in search results and view all the courses in the learning path as well as see the different sections within the learning path and related descriptions very soon we we will also bring progress tracking in the learning path the next capability we are bringing to viva learning is the ability to manage access to learning content 
Megan, the knowledge manager, goes to the manage permissions section under admin tab. She can add permissions on one or more courses. She selects HR as a business partner and chooses a user group and adds permission. Let's go to the Microsoft Admin Center and see the members of this user group. Since Megan is part of this group, she should find and view this course in Viva Learning. So in Viva Learning, she searches for HR as a business partner. And she can see this course. Now let me go to Andy's profile. He is not part of the group that we chose before. So he should not be able to find this course in Viva Learning. So Andy searches for the same course. He is not able to find the same course since the access to the course is restricted. Let's say Megan shares this course with Andy in a Teams chat. Andy will not be able to access it until the permission is explicitly given to him. This was a big ask from many of our enterprise customers and we hope that this feature will empower our knowledge managers to effectively manage content in their organization. Now let me hand it over to John. Thanks for the great walkthrough, Shivam. Now I'd like to bring in Nate Hurdo from SAP Success Factors. Nate, I'll let you introduce yourself. Hey, thanks, John. Uh, yeah, I run our solutions go to market team. I've got about a two dozen years experience in the the learning space, and uh, really excited about the partnership that we have here with Microsoft and ways that we can bring learning to every part of the employee experience. Yeah, I am too, and, and really appreciate your partnership as well. And thank you for being here today. You know, I, I spoke earlier about the power of a fully deployed enterprise environment with SAP Success Factors and Viva Learning, which is what we have here at Microsoft. So there's a lot of opportunity there. But I also know that the enterprise market is shifting rapidly. So what do you see as the key challenges that customers need to consider in this rapidly changing environment? Well, I think it's balancing the the needs of the enterprise with uh, this very rapidly evolving uh, market of technologies, right? And so how do we balance getting the breadth of enterprise technologies that have to be scalable and secure and, and auditable and all those pieces? Balance that out with the consumer level technology. And that's the piece that really excites me about the partnership with Microsoft is, is uniting the backend enterprise with the front end capabilities that, you, that success factors and Microsoft bring. Yeah, absolutely. We're seeing a lot of customers that are very interested in that as well. So how do you see, you know, SAP success factors and Viva Learning really working together? What do you specifically like, what do you think are the opportunities there? Well, I think not having to exit where you're doing your daily work to very quickly jump in, learn, get an answer to a topic, and then jump out or, or go in and identify a topic that you need to develop mastery on and being able to jump right back into where, where you are. And that, that flow of work conversation has been around for quite a while, but now bringing the, the collaboration and the workspace tools together, I think is a huge opportunity for customers to really reduce the friction that we see in getting people the right information at the right time or pointing them to things that they need to go out and master at a later date. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, that's really, I, I love to hear that because that's really the whole concept behind the Viva employee experience, right, is bringing those experiences, whether it's well-being or sort of knowledge generation or learning in our case, to the user and meeting them where they are versus asking them to go out to, you know, find it somewhere outside of their daily workflows. You know, I think a, a great example of one of the ways that we're delivering that with Viva Learning is through the integration with Microsoft 365 Search. So a user can be in SharePoint or Bing.com or they could be in Outlook or wherever. Their search experience actually pulls up content that's from the systems they have connected with Viva Learning. So success factors or any other systems that they have connected. So it's really bringing that content to the user versus asking them to go out and find it. Really that, that flow of work concept I found really resonates for our customers. And as we've deployed ourselves internally at Microsoft, we've seen great results there as well. So uh, of the, uh, you know, looking now more specifically about the new features that we're announcing today, which I'm really excited for, you know, we've got single sign on, we have inline playback, we have permissions inheritance from success factors so that uh, admins don't have to set those up again. They'll just have the same permissions flow through and, and represent within Viva Learning. And of course, learning paths, bringing learning paths that are established in success factors and having those show up in Viva Learning as well. Of all of those new features, what do you think is the most exciting? 
Well, some of those are really enabling technologies, which I think are going to be important, but inline play is the one that's got me excited. I think being able to you know, an- ask a question, get a, a quick video or some other uh, form of instruction provided to you right where you're working, you don't have to exit out. You can just go right back to the work that you're completing. That to me is reducing that friction that I talked about earlier. And I think that's going to be the most impactful. Obviously, there's a lot of underlying uh, technology uh, infrastructure that needs to be in place to support that. But that's the one that I think the users are really going to see and feel and interact with. So that's what's got me excited. Yeah, definitely agree. I think just having that whole learning experience wrapped up in Teams and Microsoft 365 so the user can find content, have content recommended to them, see their learning assignments, and then actually consume it all right there in line in Teams is a, it's really a game changer. So I'm super excited for all of the new integrations. Um, you know, thank you. I want to just say thank you again for the collaboration. It's been great. Looking forward to more big things to come. And, uh, and of course, using, you know, the integration ourselves here at Microsoft. So all good stuff. Thank you, Nate, again, for the time. Really appreciate it. And now I'll hand off back to Shivam to actually demo some of those newly announced SAP SuccessFactors integration features. Thanks, John. We are happy to announce deeper integration with SAP SuccessFactors. Viva Learning not only shows SuccessFactors courses in the home page, but now also inherit permissions, ingest learning paths, and enable inline playback. First, let's see how permissions are inherited from success factors. Our user Aaron Chan has the leadership development assignment profile in success factors. All members with this profile LD01 get permission to leadership development program. Programs in success factors are ingested as learning paths in Viva Learning. Now let's see how Aaron is able to consume the learning path in Viva Learning. So Aaron uses the search to search for leadership development in Viva Learning. In the search results page, he restricts the content using the provider filter. He clicks on the first learning path in the search results. He clicks on the play in details page and consumes the learning path. Now let's see the same scenario, how it works with another user, Andy Rice. Andy searches for leadership development in Viva Learning. He also filters for success factors provider, but Andy does not get any results. This is because Andy doesn't have the leadership development assignment profile, which Aaron was assigned. Hence, Andy is not able to access programs associated with this assignment profile. Let's take the case when Andy gets a link to the same course through Teams chat. Andy gets a blocking experience telling him he does not have access to the course. It allows only authorized users to access the learning content in Viva Learning. Next, let's see some more deeper integration with success factors. Viva Learning has made the learning experience smooth and seamless with single sign-on and in-app consumption of success factors courses. From the home page, Aaron chooses to see all courses from success factors. He clicks on the leadership lessons from Satya, which is a success factors learning object and clicks on the play icon. After clicking on play, Viva Learning internally authenticates and authorizes the learners using single sign-on. Viva Learning plays the success factors content in line within the Viva Learning app for Teams. So now learners will be able to consume success factors courses seamlessly without needing to switch the apps through inheriting per- permissions, inheriting learning paths, single sign on and in app playback. We are able to improve the flow of work delivery of SAP success factors content to users within Viva Learning. Now let me walk you through the super exciting roadmap of Viva Learning. We made Viva Learning generally available in November last year and since then we have come a long way. It would not have been possible without your feedback and support. Good news is that all the capabilities that I showed today, for example learning paths, learning corrections, assigning permissions on any content in Viva Learning, all of them are going to be generally available soon. We'll continue to work on deepening our integrations with our learning management system partners and allowing for greater exchange of content and signals. 
we are also expanding our integration breadth with Udacity, LMS365, SumTotal, and KPMG through our publicly available APIs, as John mentioned before. Assignments and completion APIs are coming soon. We just rolled out limited preview for Better Together with LinkedIn Learning Hub, and we are getting some good early feedback from these customers like reporting APIs for course completion. Switching to top of mind items, we have basic reports on M365 Admin Center today and we heard feedback to strengthen our reporting capabilities. So we will be building culture of learning reports, which will provide a set of metrics to help you understand the personal, social and collaborative learning activities occurring within Viva Learning. Next, we want to make Viva Learning an intelligent system that anticipates your needs and presents you with the right courses at the right time. So we will create personalized experience based on learner's role, skills, and social signals. On capability building, recent research suggests that 84% of chief HR officers rate upskilling and reskilling as one of their top three priorities. Skill identification, and skill building are part of the learning process. We should also look at a multi-dimensional approach to learning. As Josh Persin, the leading industry analyst says, capability academies are business-driven, collaborative learning environments that facilitate learning retention. They help companies prepare for transformation by helping employees develop complex skills and providing guidance on how to apply them in the context of the business. One of the most challenging aspects that our users mention is that despite their best intentions, they find it hard to make dedicated time for learning. While we provided the ability to schedule time for learning using Add to Calendar feature in the learning app, we are partnering with the Viva Insights and Outlook teams to help users add learning time onto their calendars and be in the flow of work. And once users take the training and find it useful, they can share it with their team members using M365 groups. So we really want to make learning effortless, impactful, and joyful. And we need your support in this journey. Thanks, Shivam. A lot of really exciting stuff. And hopefully you're all excited about getting started with Viva Learning. So a lot of opportunities to do that here and some resources on screen. First, make sure to visit the link that you see here around pricing and licensing details. There's also a blog that we just published with more details about what we reviewed today. You can also read our full case study of Microsoft's internal Viva Learning story and our journey of adoption and deployment there, as well as details on our APIs and source configuration instructions. And finally, and this is probably the easiest and, and most fun thing that you can do here, you can start using Viva Learning today. A free version of Viva Learning is available to all Teams users. Simply search in your Teams app menu to start using it now. And if you don't see Viva Learning, ask your admin to allow list the app from the Teams Admin Center. Thank you so much for your time. And as always, we look forward to learning in the flow of work with you.